Hey everybody, Justin here, back with another brand new Z Flash module. This one is for new model Fords, like this 2023 Explorer. Connects to the BCM with two plugs, and there's no wire splicing needed. Included in the box is the module, as well as the wiring harness, which has the BCM plugs on it, and the switch harness. What you're gonna need, most likely, depending upon your vehicle, is a 932nd um, socket and a pick switch is always helpful to adjust dip switches on the back which we'll go over in a minute let's head up to the front and I'll show you where the BCM is and how to get to it so I removed the access door so you can see the BCM there's one here and one down here those are the two that we're gonna remove so the access to the panel better we're gonna remove this bolt if you mind this might vary depending upon your trim level but for this one these are the two bolts we need to remove Now we can just pull this down, pull the clips, that's it. Now we have full access to the BCM, so we're going to remove this plug here. So to remove it, simply push in, and while there's pressure pushed in on the, the tab there, slide the white lever to the front, and that's going to pop the module, or the clip out, the plug out. Um, pull gently and straight out, you don't want to bend it and bend any of those pins in there. <clears throat> Next we're going to grab our harness. Keep in mind these only fit one way, so if they don't fit, put it the other way. To slide these in, make sure the white lever is all the way forward and apply even, even and firm pressure. And as you slide it in, you'll notice the white lever slides up. Once it's all the way in, it's got to clip it in one last time like that. You're going to repeat the same process. The white lever is all the way forward. Apply, slide it in straight, firm, and evenly. As we slide it in, you'll hear a click. And the white lever will slide up and that pushes it in it's firmly in there you will repeat the same process for this one down here push that tab in slide the white lever up it only fits in one way white levers forward clips in do that again here Next, we'll connect this to our module. It's also important to make note of these really tiny dip switches. So number three is gonna be strobe mode. In our opinions, it looks best when you have that um, on. So you wanna put three up. And if you want your reverse lights to flash, you'll wanna put five on as well. So in this case, I'm gonna use both of those and I've activated them using a small little pick like this is the best way to get in here and turn these on or off. You'll wanna turn these on or off while the module is on and running. And last but not least, we will connect our switch. This is going to be our switch. Turn the module on and off. It's double stick tape, so you can tuck all these wires away, run this to your dashboard or your console or wherever you're wiring it to. You also have the option to hardwire it, and you can even sync these up with additional external lights such as some surface mounts, grill lights, etc. Take the module, you want to hold it down for three seconds. And when those come on, that means the module is activated. When it initially comes on, it's gonna flash either one, two, or three, and that's gonna indicate which pattern you're on. So that just flashed twice, that's pattern two. Now that the module is on, I just simply press it once. And you're gonna flash three times, that means I'm on pattern three. You're also gonna have your uh, low beam indicator, or your fog indicator, no, that's your low beam indicator up there flashing. That indicates that the module is on, so you'll see that flashing um, lightly, faintly. And press it one more time. You can go to pattern number one. You wanna turn it off, you hold it down for three seconds. You'll see the lights all went off. So that's how easy it is, no more than 20 to 30 minutes. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.